Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, covering the Southern District of New York Courthouse, where yesterday, uh, our filing from about a week ago to unseal the co-signers of Samuel Bankman Freed of FTX, uh, we filed it the day that they made their request to seal them. Uh, the New York Times also filed yesterday, and Judge Kaplan, later in the day, said that both filings, numbers 40 and 31, must be responded to by Bankman Freed's lawyers by January 19th. So we'll see. It kicks the can down the road, but at least we'll get to see how they can claim. Now, the, the, the you know, in all fairness, the Times' uh, uh, filing was longer and included a lot of the well-known cases, Lugosh, etc. Our point is really that here in the Southern District, other defendants don't get that treatment. Even since we did our filing, a guy called Neil Phillips had to disclose his co-signers by name and amount, etc. But this happens every day in the magistrate's court. Speaking of which, yesterday we covered a big case there uh, handler that you can find uh, that we wrote about. But we're going to stay on the SBX beat because here's a, here's a really two-sided story. So the bankruptcy in Delaware, uh, a group of four senators wrote and said there should be an independent investigator that Sullivan and Cromwell, the law firm, is conflicted because it had, I guess, a, a former partner as the general counsel of FDX. I, I'm all for that kind of filing. There's only one problem. One of the things to be investigated is, S, is uh, FTX's inordinate political contributions that did seem to lead one way but let's see whatever it is I'm not sure if elected officials are the one they, they might have their own conflict let's put it that way not the individuals but they are part of parties so we say that in all, in all fairness um, should the creditors be secret and, uh, uh, I don't think so um, so there's another one and will the senators write to Judge Kaplan there's still time um, We'll switch from that. There's a lot going on in SDNY, but you can find that on Inner City Press. We cover the United Nations, where Japan is the president of the Security Council this month. And coincidentally or not, Mr. Kishida, who I used to cover as the foreign minister when I, before I was thrown out of the UN, he's coming to Washington. Well, I'll say that what I can say about it is that Japan is failing as the UN Security Council president. They can't provide any transparency. They don't even answer their mail. A absolute travesty. And as to what happens in D.C., we'll be reporting on it. Watch Inner City Press.